Thank you for coming so quickly. I just got back into the city, and when I arrived here, I found blood all over the place. I am terrified for my daughter, Sophia. Her passion was playing the piano, and she's only 14 years old. Please, you have to find out what happened to her and where she is. Mr. Sakamoto, I understand how worried you must be. Now rest assured, I'll do everything in my power to find your daughter and get to the bottom of this. Can you tell me more about Sophia and the situation? Of course, Wyatt. Sophia's mother passed away a few years ago, and since then, she's been staying alone in this apartment most of the time. I have to travel frequently due to my work, and I haven't been able to spend as much time with her as I'd like. She was a really shy girl, and I worry that her introverted nature might have made her vulnerable to something sinister. I understand, Mr. Shaka. The more information we have about Sophia, the better our chances of locating her. Are there any friends or acquaintances she might have spent time with recently? She didn't have many friends, to be honest. Her life revolved around her piano and music studies. I'm afraid I've been too focused on my career and haven't been the best father to her. But right now, that doesn't matter. I just want to find her safe and sound. We'll do our best, Mr. Sakamoto. Any small detail could be vital in this investigation. Is there anything else that you can think of that might help us in our search? Yes, there's something else. You can stay here as long as you need and feel free to use any resources you require for the investigation. Money is no object in finding my daughter and understanding what happened to her. Cooperation is greatly appreciated, Mr. Sakamoto. Start right away and keep you informed of any developments. Please try to remain calm and patient during this process. Thank you, Wyatt. Your dedication means a lot to me. However, I have to leave now as I need to make some arrangements. Please keep me updated on any progress, no matter how small the detail. We'll keep you informed every step of the way. Don't worry. I won't rest until we find your daughter. If you remember anything else, or if you reach me for any reason, don't hesitate to contact me. I won't, Wyatt. I trust you in your skills and abilities. Find my daughter, and I'll pay whatever it takes. Please. Bring her back to me safe and sound. I promise you, Mr. Sakamoto, I'll do my best. Take care, and we'll be in touch soon. Okay, begin your investigation by searching for clues. I'm definitely going to be doing that. Uh, this one looks a little suspicious. Bloody handprints amidst the piano loving environment. It's unsettling to think what might have happened to Sophia. I'll leave no stone unturned in my search for answers. This crime scene tells a chilling tale. Bloody handprints on the wall in front of Sophia's favorite piano. A haunting scene. Demands answers. Seems like something really happened here. And she's Bloody only 14? In a home where Sophia loved playing piano. I sent shivers down my spine. She was in danger within these walls? I must find out. Hmm. Okay. What else do we got going on? Might be something over here, might be worth checking out. Crumbled papers. Discarded like they hold no value. But in this investigation, every detail counts. I'll unfold their secrets, no matter how small. 
Crumbling pieces of paper scattered around. Could be torn notes or messages. I need to carefully piece them together. You might reveal something significant. Crumbled pieces of paper. Could be a desperate attempt to hide information. I'll unfold their secrets and see what they're trying to conceal. Okay. Another one. Crumble papers. Possibly overlooked by others. But I won't miss a thing. There might be hidden messages or clues waiting to be discovered. A uh, glass mirror would have been good evidence if you ask me. searching here this place definitely looks like some kind of a murder scene blood on the closet board hand smudges a sign of struggle something more sinister I need to investigate further and find out what happened here blood on the flush hand smudges this could be a crucial clue I need to dig deeper. Okay. A bloody handprint on the sink. This is no accident. Someone was hurt here. I must follow the trail and piece together what transpired in this place. Okay. So we got that going. <clears throat> Sorry. So let me check and make sure if my recording is good. For some odd reason, I tried recording this a few times and uh, my camera just decides to stop. Like, stop working. A pointer for the Luigi board. Right here. This adds a whole new layer of intrigue to the case. The Luigi board on the shelf. This case just took an unexpected turn to the mysterious. I'll need to explore its significance and potential connections to the missing person. Okay. Oh, so far, so good. We're getting there. A massive blood trail behind the pot. A clear sign of struggle. Another set of dirty dishes with dried blood. A troubling pattern emerges. Huh. Didn't see that yet. Hidden use matches. Deliberately concealed. Somebody was here, trying to cover their tracks. It seems that way. Another bit of, uh... Use matches near the sink. Someone was here recently. I need to find out who. And... If they hold any information about the missing person's whereabouts. Another set of uh... dirty dishes with dried paint stains. It appears someone hastily tried to clean up. Bloody handprints on the cutting board. A chilling sight. This crime scene holds dark secrets. And I won't stop until I find the truth behind these disturbing marks. Okay. All right. Let's go upstairs and check out everything. Pretty sure there's a bit of a crime up here as well, if you ask me. On 
unexpectedly finding a plethora of pillboxes. This raises questions about the family's mental state. I need to examine these closely, understand their significance. More pills. Huh. Things are kind of getting a little interesting. Don't know how, but definitely is, no doubt. Oh, cool. I got a flashlight. Of a washed up air washer machine, huh? A massive blood trail. And a handprint on the laundry machine. Smelling clothes. Gun? An, an unexpected sight. A pistol. In this case, raises serious concerns. We need to be cautious and determine its relevance to the missing person's investigation. Uh, that's the phone. Okay, I better go answer that. Hello? <laughs> I gotta be able to pick up the phone. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, you're very welcome. The autosave has just occurred. There is no going back now. You have to face what you signed up for. <laughs> oh, wow. I got to be forced to stay here or die. Okay, so I'm okay to check security cameras now. I'm going to check and uh, check see if my gameplay is still good even looking through cameras because I remember from security breach, it was, uh, was kind of bad off. Uh, press and hold the inner reaction button. And let's just look around. Oh. Look at the light switch. Let me see if it's still good. Okay. Kind oh, of weird. I'm not really going to see this girl up the stairs, am I? I mean, not that I, not that I have anything against it. Just, uh, just some paranormal bullcrap going on. Flashlight. Oh. 
Um. Uh, hi. What's up? Oh. Um. Okay. 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 Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Okay. This is um. Okay. This is okay. This is okay. Um. Wow. This is not okay. Oh my god. This is not okay. Screw this shit, I'm going. Okay, voice recognition has been unlocked. Wonder what type of good would that would do? Yeah, let's just go back to the cameras. You find email. Can you help me? Oh, what does that say? You can fix that. Okay. Are you friendly? Okay, that means yes. Show yourself. No. What's with the voice thing? <gasps> what and what the hell? Um. Go away. Let me make sure a gay play is still good. Oh, crap, she's coming back. Go away. Go away. I said go away. Oh shit. Oh, well, that was stupid. Oh, okay. 
Okay, it's pretty dark. Okay, I suppose I'm supposed to be checking that out. You know, you don't really need to do that. You're not gonna jump scare me, are you? cool nothing very creepy about this at all are oh, you freaking kidding me Who turned on that light? Show yourself. Show yourself. Show yourself. I freaking pissed her off, didn't I? I literally pissed her off. All right, I gotta go back up the stairs and uh, turn off that light again. Because I need to see that second clue of the email. Show yourself. Where are you? Hello? Hey! You creepy woman! Maybe quit being all creepy and then people might like you more. Because you're really being creepy. Yeah, you're going upstairs, coming back downstairs, and you're being all around creepy. Miss Creep. You creepy, creepy. Y'all gonna see y'all too dang creepy. You're doing the creep. You're doing the creep. You're doing nothing but the creep. 
Really making me lose my creeps. And this ghost really doesn't want to take me lightly, don't it? This ghost is like, no, I don't want you to find all the clues. You get no clues. see that oh, okay there we go okay so I got MRK MRK okay okay got it Can you help me? Look for me, I'll give you hints. Okay, so I guess I just gotta keep uh, looking through the surveillance cameras until I keep finding the clues. I just ask for the next clue what's my next clue no show yourself no. well she had no problem doing that I'm down here Sam I'm down here God, okay. Oh man, okay. That was not horrifying whatsoever. Okay. Now all I have to do is just find the next clue, huh? Can you help me? I didn't hear no knock or anything. Can you help me? Nope. Leave lights on. Okay. Right there. Show yourself. Show yourself. No, she not. Oh, there she is. Hey, I'm down here. For some odd reason, you can't kill me while I'm on the computer, so... The computer is my only defense.
Hello? Oh, there you go. Hey, what's up? Creepy? What's up, Miss Creep? Hey, Creepy. Hey. Creepy. 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 Go away. Okay. Okay, dive. Mark. Okay. Two thousand nine. Okay. Okay. Where are you? Where are you? Here in the kitchen or? Can you show yourself? Hello. Hey, what are you doing? Oh god. Well, creepier enough in the dark. I don't have to do the night vision thing. What's up? Hey, creepy. 
Where are you, creepy? Creepy? Creepy! Where's she at? Why do you keep going back up there for? What is she doing in there? What's so important in there? Hey, creepy. Creepy, give me an answer. I think I got the email, but I need to, um, I need to have a password. Can, can you help me out? Here's my only defense. Can you help me? Where are you? What you doing, creepy? You uh, actually gonna show me my hint? Hey, you gotta, you gotta help me out here, okay? Where's my hint? Come on, where's the hint? Where's my aunt? I really hate you right now. You know, I'm on the computer, which for some odd reason, the computer is my line of defense. Then again, I better not say something like that. Otherwise they might patch that up. Can you help me? Turn light off when you see me on camera.
Not really liking the music thing that you guys are doing. Well, don't I feel threatened. Now find password. Okay, so you took a long time just to show me that. The life flicker. Where are you? Ain't that obvious? Show yourself. Show yourself. Woman, I'm not going anywhere until you show until you show yourself. Show yourself. I swear to God, if you decide to do so as soon as I get up. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, I got the, uh, I wrote it down right here, which, uh, took me a little while to find with all the clues I had to go through. Sweet. P. J. K. All right. All right, so, uh, Sophia. I am so looking forward to it, Marky. Wait, Marky. Sophia. Hey, Mark. How's your day going? Hey, Sophia. My day is going pretty well, thanks. How about yours? I'm doing great, especially now that we're chatting. I have to admit, Mark, I'm really liking getting to know you. You seem like such a genuine and interesting person. Uh, thank you, Sophia. This is sweet of you to say. I'm enjoying getting to know you too. You have a great sense of humor and a kind heart. Oh, stop it. You're making me blush. <laughs> Wait a minute. Mark, his laptop. Ain't this? Holy James Martha. Wait. Father. Ain't that guy? Ain't this this guy's laptop? That sounds perfect, Mark. I can't wait to see what the future holds. Until then, let's keep getting to know each other. What? In the actual hell? Okay. Uh. Hi. So. Okay, so. I think I've probably have figured out. I think I figured out everything what was going on. 
this guy, I think, has done stuff with a girl that he claims to be his daughter. But I don't think that's really the truth. I think this guy was a kidnapper. Let's see. Uh, give me one second. I think I've written down something else. Okay. Okay. I think I finally figured everything out. I'll just, uh... Go away. Go away. was not very nice now wait a second so I'm supposed to go upstairs right Okay. Okay. It's in here. It was him all along. Oh my god, it's the guy that I was. Oh god! Um, hi! 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 Oh, what a dark turn. What a dark turn. In the chilling, desolate apartment, the cold body of Detective Wyatt lay life lifeless. The second investigator has been ruthlessly silenced forever, shut still by the very man he had been closing in on, Mr. Sakamoto. Okay. Why it's rentless, rentlessless pursuit of truth, his, his, yeah, his dogged determination to unravel the grim secrets held within these walls have brought him face to face with a darker reality than he could have imagined. The horrifying truth was clear. Mr. Sakamoto, Sophia's father, had been the perpetrator behind his daughter's disappearance and the demise of the other innocent girls. Oh, so my sacrifice was was meaningful but the revelation had come too late Wyatt's discovery cut short by a brutal end when his body was found at the crime scene the once bustling apartment was now an eerie silence Mr. Sakamoto nowhere to be seen okay Man, this is a lot more scary than all the chills art games I played. Okay, so this was super normal, guys. Um, I was 
Wow. This had me all like edge of my seat for them for like almost an hour or about 45 minutes, but that's just crazy. This game was just insane. The, the journey for Detective White has only just begun. What lies ahead is bound to leave you breathless. If his first adventure cavitated your imagination, don't hesitate to leave a review on Steam. For those seeking deeper mysteries and conversations, join us on Discord and make sure to drop a follow on X or Twitter as uh, the shadows hold more stories. Until then, see you in the unknown. Okay. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'll definitely, um, I definitely suggest this game for you guys to play if you guys are really one to thrill seek. So I'll definitely put a link in description below. So thank you all so much for watching. And if you guys really enjoyed this, leave a like and comment. Do not forget to subscribe if you guys are not yet. I will definitely say this, guys. This is a very hardcore type of mystery and horrifying. Everybody thought that Jizatsu was pretty scary. But no, this one really takes the cake. <laughs> so, um, leaving that behind, so I'm not going to be playing this game again. <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching again, and I will see you all in the next video.